Okay guys, underneath your neck, you're gonna draw a line that's the same width as your chin. And then underneath that, you're gonna draw a straight line. This is gonna be the spine. This is the backbone. And you just basically drew a letter T. Then you're going to draw a smaller line at the bottom of that line that we just drew. So it's gonna be smaller down here. Those are the hips. Underneath the hips, you're gonna draw two straight lines down. What do you think those are? Those are the legs. Okay? And then on the up on the shoulders, you get to decide what your arms are doing. So I'm gonna have things in my hands in my finished picture. So I'm gonna have my arms kind of going off to the side, like that. Okay. Um, we are going to on underneath each shoulder, you're going to connect it with a U shape like that. This is helping to build our body so we can draw clothing on the body. On the hips, you're going to draw a triangle. So now we've created a waist and we're actually going to draw a line like this to create our waist. All right, um, now we need some, need some meat on our bones. So we are going to add ovals. This is for our muscles. This is gonna build our body so that we can draw clothing. So go ahead and add your ovals. They stop at each joint. So at the elbows, that's where they stop. On the legs, so on the legs, you need to imagine where your knee would be. And you're going to draw one oval for the top and another oval for the bottom. One oval for the top and one oval for the bottom. Okay, down here at the bottom, this is where your feet are going to go. And I usually just draw the front of my shoes like that. And we can add more to that later. On the arms, you need to add hands. We're gonna start by just drawing a circle with one, two, three, four, five fingers. On the other side, draw a circle with one, two, three, four, five fingers. We're gonna add more detail to that later, but for now, we've got our body drawn. Okay, so let's go ahead and add clothing to the body. Yeah. So you're going to start with the sleeves on both sides. And then I usually draw the collar down. And then they draw the shirt all the way down to the waist on both sides. And then I can connect that line. Once you've got that you can take a really good eraser and erase all that stuff that we drew on the inside. You're welcome to add a skirt, shorts, whatever you'd like, but I'm gonna put pants. Let me show you how to do pants. You're gonna start where the shirt stopped and you're gonna come down all the way to the shoe. It comes up and over the shoe, back up and then back down, up and over the shoe and back up. Erase the legs, you don't need those legs anymore. Okay, now I wanna add pockets to my pants. Like that. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I need to draw my arms, because right now they look like sausages. So I need to draw my actual arms. So I want you to watch really carefully how I do that. Right along the outside edge, I'm going to draw an outline of the actual arm using the shape we created with the sausage sh shapes, okay? So once you've done that, you can erase the sausages and see if it looks right. And that looks pretty good. I think my elbow needs to be a little pointier, like that, okay? And then on my hand, um, I can go around and draw one, two, three, four, five fingers. 
So now I've got a pretty good hand if that's the way I want to keep it. Okay, so there's my hand. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now I've got two hands for my person. Um, I'm going to change them now though, guys. If you wanted to keep them like that, great, but I'm going to change mine just a little bit because of the things I want to put in them. So on this side over here, I'm going to actually draw my hand out flat. And I will do that like that because I want to draw a very large apple because if you don't know already I'm a teacher okay guys in the other hand I'm gonna go ahead and draw a um, can a paint palette these are not easy to draw though and I'm going to add little paint splatters because I love art if you didn't already know that and then I'm gonna add a paintbrush as well you're going to outline the entire picture in black marker. So while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and do mine. Once we have finished outlining the entire picture in black marker, we're gonna go ahead and pull out our color pencils. Color the picture. Don't do anything to the background yet, just color your picture. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and work on mine. Okay guys, we're done. Here is my finished project. Um, this is how you make a caricature. So I hope you had fun. Thank you so much for doing Art with Alex today. I had so much fun. Again, one of my favorite projects. I'm so glad we got to do that today. So I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.